I'm Brian from Melbourne, and I've created a product that will bring joy to people all around the world. By day, I'm a dentist. Does that feel OK? Mm -hmm. I love my job, but my passion is music. Have a little ring. Music is what feeds the soul. I'm really hoping the sharks bite on this idea. Their help can take it to the next level. This is a groundbreaking product because the power in its simplicity just makes it easy for anybody to use. Hi, I'm Brian Diskin from Diskin Guitars, home of a simply powerful innovation in musical instruments. Today, I'm offering 18% equity in my company in return for $36,000 investment. Secondly, you get this handmade shark malabar. <laughs> this is a handmade instrument. It's a collaborative effort between myself and my four children, who together they help design and execute the change to make it a shark for one of you lucky people. Thirdly, you get the opportunity to join me to go down as part of music history. There are so many people who want to learn to play guitar like their rock idols. Kids start off in their bedrooms strumming on tennis rackets or cricket bats. And then as they get a bit older, they may move to games like Guitar Hero. But deep down inside, they know that they're not really musicians. Now, just about anybody who can count to eight can play hundreds of their favourite songs within minutes, not months, of starting to play. The disc and rail bar is an innovative new instrument that makes music simple. Thanks to a combination of the way it's tuned, the fret layout and unique numbered markings, playing chords is as simple as using one finger. It's like painting by numbers for music. It makes it easy. Now, if any of you would like to join me here for three minutes in three lessons to unleash your inner rock star. All right, so right. I lesson one. I don't know anything about guitars. That's fine. Even how That's to hold perfect. it. perfect. Right. Do I look cool? If you, you just... That's pretty cool. Take Excellent. the hand off there and strum down. You have now played your first chord. It is called, in Ralbar bar terms, a one chord. OK. And it's equivalent in this one to a C chord. If you take this part of your finger mm -hmm. and just squeeze wherever you want... Yep. Number and, four. Yep, and strum again. You've now played a four chord, and it's just good that you played four because if we go to our next slide, we see one and four. One and four is already a song. The next is if you play one, five, six, four. You have now played all the chords for about 80% of all popular music in the last 70 years. Highly well done. Yeah. Highly talented. Thank you. That's great. What, what is a rail bar? Rail, this is a rail bar. Is it a guitar? It is a type of guitar. Have you invented it or is it just a type? I have invented it, yes. Okay, so, so it's, it's your type of guitar? Yes. Rail it stands bar. for rhythm and lead, blues and rock. So you can play rhythm, you can play... Oh. So th this is that's this is a, six. That's a six-string guitar. Right, right. And that's a six-string guitar, the others are round. So this is your basic product? This is my introductory product. Right. Is the point of difference in this that because it's like paint by numbers, anyone virtually on the first lesson can pick it up and start playing music. Yes. It's like training wheels. I try to avoid that sort of thing of saying that it's like training wheels because it is an instrument in and of itself. Right. It is something that you can play fantastic music and enjoy it. Just have fun with it. Yep. So can these be played by someone who actually knows how to play a guitar? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. The people who know how to play it can get more out of it than somebody who doesn't. Right. So how really long does it take to make each one and how many can you produce? Um, I'm in negotiations with a company in Asia to, to manufacture them. There's just a couple of tweaks that we need to do before we go into a first run of manufacture. And it costs you to make how much? We figure that with import duties, costs of shipping and so forth, that will come to about 110 Australian dollars um, once it's landed. What do they sell for? We'll be selling them for $250. Yeah. Which is approximately the cost of a, of a decent beginner guitar. And what's your minimum specific. orders? At the moment, I've got 100 that, are, that I've ordered. Selling those, I don't think will be a problem selling the 100 and then using that money to reinvest. Yeah, but selling 100 isn't really going to get your money back. How much have you put in this business, did you say? Oh, I 
depends what your counter's putting in. I've got some very expensive toys in my shed, probably about seven or eight thousand dollars invested in it at the moment. I think they're beautiful. Thank I think you. they're just. I think you're so clever. Um, Thank you very much. I'm not sure I want to be in the guitar business though, so for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. So what are you going to use the money for? That $36,000 would be used for completion of uh, patent, patents and trademarks. There's a patent pending in America and an innovation patent granted in Australia. We uh, applied for a trademark for the, the shape of the body. It would be used to develop a R&D to develop the acoustic version so that we could make acoustic models. You're not asking for enough cash to actually take this forward, to be honest. Uh, I don't understand the music business, let alone instruments, so look, I'm, I'm going to bow out. Thank you. I think there's a long way between right now and when this is actually an investable, scalable business. So for that reason only, I'm out. Thank you very much, John. I appreciate your time. This is what I see, that um, at this point it's so boutique. So for that reason, I'm out. Well, oh, thank you. You know, I love the guitar, and I'm one of those frustrated uh, guitar players that kind of got knocked around in early years, and I'm kind of trying to go back to it. Yeah. I really think you're onto something. Thank you. And I'm very tempted. But, you know, as I, uh, I always say, I don't confuse my passions with my business decisions. I'm not going to invest in your business, it's too niche for me, but I'm going to offer you $7,000 if you want to sell me that guitar. $7,000? I'll take that uh, shark guitar off your hand for $7,000. Thank but, you very much. Uh, on, the, on the investment as a whole, I'm out. Wait a sec, is this a competitive bid for the guitar? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> no, no, I can't make it for We have $7,000, we have $7,000. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look after yourself. Thank, Thank you. Right. Thank you. Bye. Congratulations. I know I'm early on in my business and I'll do what I was going to do and I know that one day it's going to be...